Hey everybody, what's going on? So uh, we just found out now that apparently there's you know a couple of people that um, you know have come across the border. Uh, apparently they did it legally. They even had citizenship. The problem is, is that they have since I have to be careful with my words here. So I'm just going to say deleted certain people. I think you all know what that means, but I just, YouTube's very tough with that terms of service in terms of using certain words, but the guy was hurting people and now they're not alive anymore. You know what I mean? <laughs> so what I, what I wanted to show you guys was that something that Pierre Paul Yev posted here and saying that Canadians are learning a man who alleges, allegedly dismembered someone on video on behalf of ISIS immigrated to Canada on Trudeau's watch. Last month, police arrested him and his son while they were allegedly planning a terrorist attack in Toronto. Who in Trudeau's government is responsible for this massive failure? Now, there is a video here that I was going to play for you guys, but I'm still having a little bit of the audio issues from the last video I posted, and I don't want to... I'm, I'm trying to figure out how to get the video to sound for you like it sounds for me, like through my laptop, but it keeps getting picked up by my microphone. If any of you guys have any idea how to fix that or how to change that, like if you see other reaction videos, their videos always sound really clear. The audio is always really good. And on, on mine, the audio just gets picked up by the mic. So it's very choppy. If anyone knows how to fix that issue, I'm very bad with this kind of stuff. I don't have any experience with, you know, tech and, uh, you know, with uh, working with I, uh, video and audio other than just the small channel that I've been working on for the past year. So if any of you know how to, to how to do that, that would be uh, really, really helpful. Um, so again, I'm not going to show that video. And then Andrew, Andrew Shear, let me just go back here because Andrew Shear also had something to say about this as well. So I just wanted to quickly read that for you. Uh, full investigation now. How did Trudeau government let an ISIS terrorist immigrate to Canada and grant him Canadian citizenship? So not only did he, did he come over, when he filled out his paperwork, they didn't do a background check on him. And they just said, oh, here you go. Here's your citizenship. Trudeau ministers must testify after a father and son terror duo were set to carry out unthinkable acts on Canadian soil. And then here's just like a little article that says conservatives demand cons government explain how terror suspects immigrated to Canada. And that's the thing, right? A lot of people will get called racist or bigots or whatever the left wants to use against people like me or people who are on the right and, and because we don't want this mass immigration. And I'm, I'm keep trying to tell these these liberals that what I'm what I'm saying is not anti-immigration. I'm not saying all immigration is bad. I'm just I'm just saying that this is a math problem, not a race problem. There's too many people coming in. They're clearly not getting checked out, which means there are terrorists coming in. Not all immigrants are terrorists, obviously, but some are, and they're coming in. And, and look what the, I mean. They almost committed a, a major terror attack in Toronto. It would have killed. Who knows how many people? And the Trudeau government just, you know, continues to allow this stuff to happen. And this is where I keep bringing up the point. So he's not incompetent. He's evil because he knows what this kind of stuff does. Look what's happening in the UK right now. You guys seen those videos? You know, don't, don't trust everything you see on the internet. I'm sure some of the videos aren't real or they're old or whatever. But there are people who, who are in the UK right now and they're very scared and they're being attacked. And then... The premier or the prime minister, whatever they have, it comes out and says, oh, by the way, if you defend yourself, you're a bunch of far right thugs. Like well, wait, everyone who is against the government or just disagrees with their policies, we're all far right now. When did that happen? I don't remember going from being a classical liberal to a far right extremist. I don't remember that happening. It's not right wing extremism to want to defend yourself and your country. Do they call it right-wing extremism when they want to send everybody to war? Well, what are you doing in war? What are you supposed to be doing during a war? Defending your country or defending a country? Is that far-right extremism? No. So it's just weird that they always say that. You know, if you want to defend yourself and your family and your country, you're a, you're a far-right-wing extremist now. Very interesting. But this is what I mean. We need to temporarily close the border. There's too many people. People who are coming here and committing crimes, they need to be deported. That's not racist. Canada used to be an affordable, safe country. It is becoming less of either of those things every single day. 
Pierre Polyev ain't perfect, but I do believe he is much better fit to uh, fix this issue than someone like, you know, Justin Trudeau, for example. Right? Like, who, who, who can trust? I mean, I wouldn't trust Trudeau to manage like a small grocery store or a small convenience store or personal fine. Like, he can't manage anything, let alone a country and immigration and housing and all these very, very, very important things that Canadians are struggling with right now. It's really sad to see, you know, it's just, you know, the Canadian dream is essentially being lost and it's, there, there's innocent people just, you know, walking home from work or kids coming home from school and now they're at risk of being attacked more so than ever. There's always a little bit of a risk of that happening, but in safe countries and communities, that kind of stuff does not happen that often. It's happening more often now. Violent crime is up 30%. This is terrible. I mean, it's almost like Justin Trudeau is just, okay, I'm going to lose, so let's just destroy the country. And that way, when Pierre Polyev gets in, he's going to have so much to fix, and he's not going to have enough time to do it. And then we can just go on the attack, and then we'll win the next election. I don't think that's going to happen. I think there's a lot of people who are not just not only voting liberal for this election cycle, they're never voting liberal again. That this whole liberal major caucus that they have right now, where you know, you see, I think they have over like well over well, almost not quite 200 seats, but they have, I think, like 150 or something. They're gonna lose like 80 of those seats. So instead of being a major force in the Canadian politic landscape, they're gonna be in at least third place. It's very likely that the bloc comes in second now. And maybe the NDP, if they ever, you know, smarten up and get rid of Jugmeat, maybe they could even be in third place. And then the Liberals would be in fourth place. So, I mean, that would be, that would be funny to see, wouldn't it? I'm not saying I like the Bloc or the NDP. It just would be funny to see the Liberals come in fourth. And that's what they deserve. But anyway, let's, uh, let me know what you guys think in the comment section. Do you agree with me? Do you think that this is a race problem or a math problem rather instead of a race problem? Do you think that we should temporarily close the temporarily close the border and then deport immigrants who are committing violent crimes? I don't think that sounds too bad. I think that's reasonable. But let me know what you guys think. I always uh, I always enjoy reading your comments and engaging with you guys, whether I agree or disagree. Uh, thanks again so much for watching, guys. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. It really really helps grow the channel. Uh, thanks again so much for watching, and I'll be back shortly with another video. Thanks so much for watching this video, guys. I really really appreciate it. Also, just wanted to let you know and remind you that if you don't mind, I really uh, would appreciate you smashing that like button and subscribing to the channel. It really, really helps the channel grow and you know further monetization. I really, really appreciate every single one of you who watch, like, subscribe, and comment, whether it's a positive or a negative comment. I always enjoy reading them. I enjoy hearing different people's perspectives. Uh, so thanks again so much, guys, for watching. I'll be back shortly with another video. Take care.